Hello, my name's Pete Crothers. Um, this should hopefully be the first of several videos. For a while now, I've been, I don't know, working out off and on, well, for years, I suppose, but recently, the last few months, I've been working out, trying to eat healthily, doing all the right stuff, and then I have a crap week, and I eat everything in the house, and then I fill the house, and then eat it again, and then I get back to square one. And I'm a bit sick of it, because I keep just getting a bit of progress, plateauing a bit, and it, it's just all a bit slow for me. I'm a bit all or nothing. Um, so, basically, what I've done is, I haven't even thought of this before, but this is kind of the way I am a little bit. Um, I saw some videos yesterday about water fasting, and I thought, that's that can't be right, can it? That can't be, that can't be a healthy thing. And I, and I, I watched a few more videos, um, seems to make sense your body's just you know using fat for energy and it just you know it's not until you literally go into a fast that it'll start to actually uh, access I don't really understand it but it seems like it will be horrible uh, but short so I thought I'd give it a go um, not really prepped at all um, well not prepped at all never mind not really I've watched a few videos last night, that was about it. Uh, chucked a bit of food in the bin, put the rest in the freezer. Um, and then, yeah, this. so I had, I had my last meal yesterday at about 7pm. It's now nearly 9pm the next day, so I've done 26 hours um, just having water. Um, I had a little bit of salt in the water this morning. Apparently that's a good thing to do to keep the electrolytes going, keep yourself hydrated. It's horrible. I put like half a teaspoon of, uh, of salt into a pint glass of water and necked it before I went to work. And I had a multivitamin. That's about it. But yeah, today I have lived off this stuff. I've had about five or six bottles so far. Probably trying to have a couple more before I go to bed. I'm pissing like a racehorse. Uh, I've even had... Right, this is the thing. I've heard that one of the side effects is you get the squits quite a lot. Um, quite not surprising really, if you're not taking any solid food, there's not going to be anything solid coming out is there? When they were saying, oh by about the second or third day you'll probably be uh, you know, a bit runny. Oh my god, lunchtime today, just water. Unbelievable. So I don't know whether my body's just getting stuck in early or I was just ill, but I suppose we'll find out. Um, so yeah, today was the day that I thought I'll give it a go and what a day to choose to start. Um, today was the first day that I'm on replacement buses going to work. So all the renovation work on the trains. So they're putting buses on to get you to work. So I live in Black Rod near Bolton. And I've got to get a replacement bus to Manchester every day. And it's take This morning, I think the bus arrived about 25 past 6. Got me to Manchester about 8 o'clock, so just over an hour and a half. And then I had to walk to work, another 15 minutes. Got there, eight and a half hour day, and it was probably the worst day I've ever had at, at this job. Uh, I've been there about three months now. Oh my God, we had three people down, like, well, two people off, one person would phone in sick. Uh, the phones were busier than they've ever been while I've been there, and I was on the phones today. And also we had two different IT failures. So yeah, that was really fun today. I had a splitting headache all afternoon, probably because I've not had any caffeine either. So part of that sort of coming off all the shit that I've been putting in my body, I suppose. But yeah, the stress as well was pretty horrible. So, I mean, I got through it. So if I can get through today, it's a good thing in a way. I can always look back and go, look, you got through that first day, which was horrid, uh, horrid. And then, and you kept going. So I don't know, we'll see. Tomorrow should hopefully better, but I've heard from the, a lot of the videos that the second and third days are pretty nasty. Like, your body really starts to object to, like, where the fuck's the food? Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm going to just tell it tell it what for, and just keep drinking the water. Uh, just keep filling up, make, keep, <laughs> keep drinking it, make it make it think that it's having food. Oh, yeah, nice and full now. It's just war again, you bastard. But yeah, we'll see. I'm just picking on my body. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, we got free today, got the replacement bus home, and I thought, right, I'm going to go to the gym. 
this is the thing some people on the water fasting thing saying don't go to the gym some people are saying go but like just take it easy because I don't want to really want to lose any of the muscle that I've built up so I'm just gonna go and just like just do light really high uh, high reps low uh, low weight and just uh, keep the keep the muscles engaged I suppose is the idea I don't know I've not really looked into it properly I'm just guessing uh, it seems to make sense to me so I did go to the gym, didn't really stay long, it was about 45 minutes, an hour maybe, something like that, just just to keep it going. Uh, holding this phone up in front of my face is probably the most exercise, my arm is absolutely killing already. So um, yeah, so did that and I've got home and then I thought, right, I'm going to make a video because if I start making a video, I've probably got more likely to actually go through with it. But anyway, while I was at the gym, I thought, do you know what I should do? I should do one of those body fat measurement things that I never do and I'm never bothered about. But I thought I'll do it, and I got the girl there to show me how to do it and everything. I took my took my socks off. Everyone was looking at me, but I got stuck in. Did it anyway. I've got the results here, so we can have day one. All right, I did it at the end of the first day's fast, which is probably not ideal, but hey, that's what we've got. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got. Uh, so just there you go, so that you know that I've uh, refreshed it. There we go. Monday, fourteenth of August. What's happening here? Something about Prince Charles. That's obviously more important than North Korea and Trump, wherever that is. Oh my God. I'll be really well chuffed if we lose all my body fat and then we're in the middle of a nuclear war. What a waste of time. Right, so here's what we got from Body Tracks. 39 years old. Yeah, that's not going to change, I don't think. That, that'll that probably stay roughly the same. Uh, body weight. 97 kilograms. Oof. So that's probably not great because my ideal's apparently 68. Shut up. I'm never going to be 68 in my life. I'm too stocky. Uh, BMI 31.3, not great. I'm creeping into that little red bastard. Uh, height 176. Uh, I don't know. Peter's don't know what that means. Uh, so yeah, let's go on to composition. Okay, what have we got? So apparently my muscle's all right. I'm, I've, got, I've got quite a bit of muscle. So I'm 68% muscle. Quite a lot of uh, water. 51% water. Hang on, man. these doesn't even add up, right? Because fat, muscle, it's all part of it. I've had a lot of water today, so I reckon that probably pumped up. That's probably more than usual. My fat, 27, nearly 28% fat. That's wrong, isn't it? It just sounds wrong. Uh, I've probably had, I've probably been worse, but hey ho. Right, let's see what else there is. Uh, results. What is all this about? Oh, looks quite good. Visceral fat. That sounds nasty. Visceral. What a great way to describe fat. I think they said that's something about it's all the fat that's around your internal organs. This is 12 cc. That can't be that much. I don't know. That probably doesn't make... I'm probably not reading that right. My muscle score. Apparently, I'm not too bad. I've got quite a bit of muscle. There you go. I'm still, I'm, that's the only one that I'm green on, I think. And degree of obesity. Yeah. I don't know, 42% obese isn't bad apparently, it sounds shit. Um, metabolic age 54? Jesus Christ, that's poor, isn't it? I'm nearly retiring. Metabolic age, so that's how much I'm burning calories. I don't know whether that is affected, I don't know, probably not. The fact that I'm fasting and metabolism will slow down, I'm assuming, I don't know. We'll see. Physique, what's this about? So apparently I'm a solid build just about to creep into obese. So I need to be probably somewhere around here. I doubt I'll get there in... Uh, I don't even know how long I'm going to do this, by the way. I've, I've not set myself... That's that's the other thing. They were all going, set yourself a, um, a limit. Do like... Um, I don't know. I, I don't think we finished looking at this. I'll come back, yeah. So they were, going, they were saying like... Um, all the videos are saying, right, just do one day at a time. One day a week for a month. Uh, then, you know, once you find it like, easy, then do like three days a month uh, or three days in a row or whatever. Um, and then like, and you're just, you're stepping up from there. Um, I've no idea how long I'm going to do this for. Maybe a couple of weeks, see how I get on. Um, I might completely cave in a few days, but we'll see. Once I get, once I get a bit between my teeth, I can usually keep something going for a bit, but... It'll be an experience. That's as much as anything, isn't it? It's something to do and just go, I did, I did that, that was shit, don't do that again. So, it's always worth giving it a whirl. Um, just as a last little treat, I am going to give you a little... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. You get to see the belly. 
Okay, let's see how we're getting on. So I don't know if you can see it all here, so I might have to show you in the mirror. Hang on, let's do this. Okay, there we go. So yeah, not brilliant. Uh, not that bothered about it, to be honest. It's all right. But then, watch this. Boom. There we go. There's my power pack for the next few weeks. That's my fuel cell ready to be uh, burned up. I think that's my uh, visceral visceral battery um, that I've got going. So hopefully this will just disappear and I'll have a nice like six pack. I've never had a six pack. That would be good, wouldn't it? But yeah, we'll see. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to do I don't know if I'm going to do one every day. I might do it every few days or so. Uh, or if I do one and it's just a bit shit, I might just miss it out. But yeah, see you in a bit. Hello. <clears throat> oh God, I am so tired. Oh God, it's day two. So 48 hours, so this is Tuesday. Yeah, 48 hours since I ate. Just had water for two days now. Left the house about quarter past seven this morning. It's uh, just after eight now, and I've only just got home. Um, so yeah, it's pretty long days. Um, I was alright at work. Um, although this morning, oh god, um, I found it really hard to concentrate. Like for the first hour, it was like I was pissed. I was just like really woozy, and my hands were moving really slowly. I couldn't focus on the screen. So I think that's probably like. The body just going right. What's going on now? There's, there doesn't seem to be any food coming in. This hasn't happened before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gone this long without eating in my life. That's pretty... I don't know. I just thought of that. That's weird. So, yeah, I was okay, I think. But it was pretty stressful this afternoon. It was quite busy trying to get everything done before we finished. And then I had the horrible two buses to get home. And I've literally just walked um, the five minutes from the station to my flat. Taken my clothes off and climbed into bed. I've had to get up to stop myself going to sleep because I'm so tired. Um, no gym tonight at all. No chance. Um, so yeah, I, I still don't feel hungry. Weirdly, um, I've like not had any hunger pains or anything. I think my stomach was rumbling a little bit earlier. It's just weird. Like you notice the times when you would eat. Like on my lunch, I didn't know what to do. I was just went and had a bit of a lie down in Piccadilly Gardens, which. I normally, I quite often do if it's nice, but I'll have food first, and it was just weird to just not eat. And then to get home now, and I'm tired and a bit, and I've had a bit of a stressful day, this would be the time when I'd have something, like, naughty to eat or something. Like, oh, do you know what, I fancy some... <laughs> I know this sounds really tame, but I just love, like, I just love, like, some jam on toast right now. I could just smash it, but I'm not hungry. That's just what I would eat, and I would enjoy it as a comfort, I suppose. So, yeah... Hmm, thinking. Lots of thinking. Um, lots of water as well. Lots of urinating. I think people are starting to get a bit pissed off with me now at work. Constantly getting up from my desk and going to the toilet, which is like right at the other end of the office. So I have to like, I'm just away for like three or four minutes every, every hour or two. Oh God. So yeah, let's see how tomorrow goes. <laughs> I hope it's better than today. I'm on the phone tomorrow, though, so it's going to be crazy. Um, oh, well. It's an experiment, isn't it? Good experience. Um, I'll learn from it, I'm sure. But I, I honestly think I'm going to be in bed soon. Um, I don't even think there's any point in me staying up. Because I'm not going to eat. What am I going to do? Might as well just go to bed. I'm on early tomorrow, anyway, so, yeah, might as well. Up at quarter to six. Uh, five quarter to six, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit torturous. I think I'm just waffling now. I'm gonna leave it there. Bye. Hi. It's day three. I've had a bit of a breakthrough today. I um, started off a bit shit. Um, I had really bad like backache and headache. Couldn't get comfy. Um, went to sleep really early last night, actually, backtracking. Went to bed at like nine or something ridiculous um, and slept, but woke up at two and then woke up again. Well, I, st I stayed awake for about half an hour and then I managed to sleep to like five, so I got plenty of sleep. Uh, I had the weirdest dream. Oh god, I had this dream that um, 
I was on a, I got on a karaoke Ferris wheel, and if they don't exist, they should, uh, with Sean Ryder from Happy Mondays. And he uh, put on one of his songs, obviously, as he would, um, and I didn't know it, it was a new one. And uh, he was like just staring at me, waiting for me to kind of start singing, and I was just sort of tapping along to the beat and just smiling like I'm really yeah I know this one yeah all right and then he turned it off after about a minute because he realized and then it was really awkward we had to just like sit in silence for the whole way around and then even like we were still like a few feet away from the ground when he just jumped off he knew that he'd had enough so it was pretty awkward and that was after I'd been I was with a family helping them clear up after their deep sea diving chimp was throwing up repeatedly, just little bits. They kept wiping it up and then it threw up a bit more. Uh, but it also threw up a massive metal bar with like a, a sort of a flanged, um, uh, sort of, what would you call it? Not a hinge, more a bracket on it. Uh, seemed all right. It didn't seem to have hurt it that much. Uh, and they also had a huge pet otter that was about six foot long. Um, so that was a bit weird. Uh, that's a very lucid, very clear dream, which I don't normally have, or if I do, I don't remember. So anyway, that was that was fun. So that was last night, and this morning, woke up, not too bad, bit achy, uh, backache, as I said, headache. And I was thinking, oh God, it's going to be a long day again. And then again on the replacement bus, just couldn't get comfortable at all on the on the seat. I just really, I just wanted to lie down, my back was sore. Um, Struggled through the day, not too bad, fairly busy again, but uh, motored through. But then at the end of work, went to meet my best mate, uh, Laura. Uh, I've not seen her in a bit, and um, I've not told her yet that I'm doing this, only because she would worry. Laura, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but you would worry, and I'm sorry. And maybe I'll tell you at the weekend, uh, depending on how well it goes. But anyway... I thought, like, because I met her for a brew, and I was like, do you know what, I'll have a black coffee, because I think, I've heard, I've read that you can have that while you're fasting. Um, oh my God, 10 minutes after having the, the, like, the first few sips of coffee, I felt absolutely brilliant. Back pain, headache, gone. It's just caffeine withdrawal. I couldn't believe it. All this time I've been thinking it's like the effect of the, uh, of the fast. Um, but it was just caffeine, obviously. And now, as you can see, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, I had a great catch up with Laura, I'm sure that helped as well. Um, and even then I had to get the replacement bus back to Bolton, then missed my connection to Black Rod. So I had to go and like walk across Bolton, get uh, and pay for the bus, the, the normal bus, not the replacement, rail replacement one. Um, and then went to the gym. So I've been to the gym, done quite a bit there, and then walked back from the gym. That's about another like half hour walk, a uh, mile or two. And I'm absolutely, I'm still buzzing. So, yeah, not hungry, not tired. I've only had one, well, I had one coffee and then I had um, peppermint tea. So, I don't think that'll have made any difference. So, um, yeah, I think the plan is tomorrow I'll have a, have a coffee or two, treat myself. I can have it! Amazing! So, yeah, um, I'm not sure whether it's, I mean, it's only like, what, three days, 72 hours just over into it, but I don't know if I'm actually feeling any thinner or anything but um we shall see um I'm, i've decided i'm not going to weigh myself until the end however long that is i'm just gonna go back to that machine at the gym and just go for it uh see what i've done um yeah that's it today's a good day well this evening is hopefully tomorrow will be more of the same and i'll be bright and breezy and i might be able to concentrate at work instead of just like staring and trying to focus at the screen because i've got a headache um yeah, more updates tomorrow. Hi, day five. Okay, um, it's been all right, tougher at the end. Um, had a good start to the day, felt fairly chirpy and energetic at work. Uh, last day I was a bit stressy at work, but I think that was everyone, not just me. Um, one thing I noticed, I had a, I treated myself to a peppermint tea, apparently I can have that at lunch, and didn't, I didn't like it at all, it made me feel a bit ugh, so I don't know if it just didn't sit well on my stomach or something because my stomach's empty, I don't know. But anyway, that, that's not happening again. Um, yeah, I got the bus back from work, so I had to feel pretty tired walking up to my mum and dad's to get the car. Um, not so much to report really, I've just, oh today, I must admit though, today has been the worst for temptation, because yesterday 
like loads of the managers or whatever just dump loads of snacks everywhere for the whole like floor and the, I've, everywhere I've walked today I've just been walking past free croissants, brioche, pan au chocolat, chocolate crisps, sweets, everything, all the, all the snacks you could ever want. It's like the most free food I've ever seen at work. So that really got me. Um, like I just kept thinking, oh my God, that would taste so good. But I'm not hungry. That's the weird thing. I'm not hungry. I just think I'd love to taste that. It's just the taste that I'm missing. Um, but I managed to go through it. And I've just been to Tesco's. That was another challenge. Going through all the aisles. Going past all the food. All the fresh stuff. All the naughty stuff. And I've just come back with some low salt. Yes. And some coffee. I got some more coffee. Because I can have coffee. And I've got some good coffee. Because I thought well, I'm gonna have, if that's the one thing I can have that I like then... Might as well have some good coffee. Um, yeah, apart from... Oh, and some sparkling water. Woo! Um, yeah, that's my life at the moment. So, yeah, not much to report, really. I've not been to the gym tonight. Felt a bit tired. Um, so I'm just going to chill out. The kids are here this week. I normally have my kids here at the weekend. But they're away with their mum. So, um, this, again, that would be normally the time when I go, Ah! Nice treaty food, maybe a takeaway, maybe a bottle of wine, put my feet up. But um, so again, it's just that temptation of habit and feeling like you need to treat yourself with something naughty. But uh, I'm okay. Uh, there was no way I was going to do it. It wasn't like I was like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? No, it was just like I just noticed like that's what I wanted to do um, instinctively. But yeah, I'm here. I've got my coffee and my sparkling water. And... I'm going to just answer a couple of emails, it's about 9 o'clock now, and I'm going to perhaps watch a film, get to bed, and have a chilled weekend. The interesting thing will be to see how I cope over the weekend on my own, and just being around the house. If I get bored, that's another time when I eat, so yeah, we'll see how I cope with that. I'm going to make sure I get to the gym, I think, tomorrow on Sunday, but yeah, play it as we go. Later. Day 6. Uh, good day again. Uh, well, I'll say again, better, better than yesterday. Uh, I had a good sleep. Well, I only slept for like six or seven hours max, uh, but felt really bright, refreshed, all good. Um, it's a bit earlier that I'm doing the video today. It's about half three, four o'clock. Uh, just been to the gym after watching the football with my dad. Uh, all good, yeah. Um, gym was good, plenty of energy. Didn't overdo it again, just... Reminding my body that it needs the muscles, that's the, kind of the idea. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Um, oh, also as you can see, I've got my Tough Mudder finisher top on that I got, what, well last year obviously. Um, but I did two Tough Mudders in two days, so obviously I was in decent ish shape to be able to do that. But even then with this t-shirt, I couldn't wear it comfortably, like my belly was like... I don't know, it just made it just proper clung to my belly, but now it's like, it's, yeah, it's still there, but I feel comfortable wearing it. So, yeah, and I tried a few other, a uh, few, um, like, trousers and tops and stuff this morning that I've not worn in years. And, like, most of them fit. Like, I've not even dared try them. So, only <laughs> after six days, um, I don't know. I, I feel like I've definitely lost some fat. Obviously, I must have done. Um, but how much of it is just the fact that I'm empty, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm quite amazed that I've changed so much in, it's not even a full six days yet. Uh, so yeah, hopefully within a, a few weeks, I'll start to be you know, looking really good, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm happy with the way I am now, to be fair. But it's kind of exciting just to see how far it will go and what will happen. It's just a bit of an experiment. But yeah. Quick update. Bye. Day nine. Yes, I missed a couple of days. A um, couple of reasons. Uh, probably made a bit boring. Me just going, Ooh, another day, same, shit, different day. Um, I'll come to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm still doing okay. It's harder now. Um, I'm really starting to feel alternately hungry, nauseous, um, it's a bit of an effort, I'll be honest, um, much harder than the, the first week, 
Um, so yeah, if it's going to be like this now for the rest of it, then <laughs> I'm going to find it really, really difficult. Um, but the weight is still dropping off. Uh, I've got this shirt on that I've not worn in God knows how long, and it's loose. It's actually yeah. This like I couldn't. This my belly would be like pressing that out when uh, when I started it. I've just actually been showing you that whilst not showing it, so it'd be like that. It'd be just pressing on it. Um, so yeah, it's all good that way. Um, so yeah, for those of you that are squeamish, uh, I'd skip a minute or two of this bit because you don't want to. You don't want to hear this. I, I, in fact, I don't think any of you want it. But if, if like there's some of you that are thinking of actually doing this, and obviously I don't recommend it because you know um, I don't really understand it properly myself anyway. Um, but yeah, so on Monday and Tuesday, no, sorry, Sunday and Monday. I was starting to really feel bloated and really sick um, and then I'd seen a couple of videos saying, well, and not in some articles as well actually, saying, oh you need to do uh, an enema every day, so, and I'd not done that because I'd only just read it and I thought, right, okay, maybe I need to do that because I hadn't been for a number two since last Tuesday, so, but it says like, because you get a build up in your intestines of all the toxins and all the rubbish that your body's breaking down and getting rid of and purging out of your system so I thought right okay I need to get on that so I did that last night and oh my god the stuff that came out afterwards because I think there must have been like a little blockage or something but after that oh I've it's one of the most disgusting things Jesus it was foul it was the smell, and, I, and I'm, I, I think I'm paranoid, but I think I can still smell it in my flat, even if I've the windows open all day. The smell was like, it, I couldn't decide whether it was like sewage or like muck spreading. It was just disgusting, and I just thought, God, what is, what has that come from? Because obviously I've only been drinking water. That must have already been in my body. So I think now we're probably getting to the stuff that's just been sat crap the toxins that have been sat in my body for years and years and years and decades even that that stuff's finally coming out and oh my god I do not want to put that back in whatever that was it was rank uh, and it, it made me feel quite sick afterwards just the smell and the thought of it that that had come out of me it was just horrible so yeah there's a warning for you that's not pleasant um, and that's a good a good um, motivation not to go back to eating junk food if that's what it is Christ almighty I'm still thinking maybe 28 days but we'll see how we go um, I think if I feel like this I'll probably stick it out um, it's going to be tough though um, but yeah if I start if I get any worse than I am then I might have to call it a day uh, pretty soon but I suppose I'm like a third of the way there now which is pretty good going, and I've lost uh, God knows how much fat. Um, I've not been this slim for years and years and years. Um, so, yeah, oh God, keep burping a little bit. Um, what else? Oh my God, went to this... Um, that's another thing with the smell last night. My sense of smell is just... It's gone through the roof. I felt like I was losing my sense of smell a bit ago, and I think maybe that's linked to just all the crap I'm eating and stuff. It just kind of just desensitizes everything. But, um, I, I, like, just food just smells so good. I was in Piggly Gardens today, and all, like, all I could smell was barbecue, and then there was stuff coming from rice, the, like the Chinese stuff, and then there was stuff coming from the burger place, and it was just so good. And I thought, oh my god, I can't wait to eat something good. And then at work, someone was talking about going and getting cake for their lunch, and I was just in pain because I just, <laughs> just want to eat. And not the hunger, although I am hungry, it's just missing tasting things, uh, tasting really nice stuff. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be exciting. But then I thought I got through it, and then I went to this like get together this evening for um, for parents of LGBT kids because my daughter goes to this LGBT youth group. And they'd said, oh, we're going to have this little get-together for all the parents um, to meet some of the staff and some of the older 
people who go to the group. So I went along to that. And I thought it was just going to be a get there, have a little bit of a chat, get to know a few people. Oh my god, they had all sorts of food, cake, biscuits, sandwiches, and just all my favourite foods. And everyone was just tucking in, there was loads, there was far too much for the group that was there. And I'm just there having my black coffee that I'd saved. Because <laughs> I'm having two coffees a day, that was my second one of the day. And then just drinking water, but I, I did it. I stuck it out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm finding it tough now, um, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm seeing the results, so I think it's worth it. It's still worth it at the moment. Um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a chill out now for a couple of hours. It's about half nine, I think, something like that. Um, I've got a lie in tomorrow because I'm going to work tomorrow. Yes! No more replacement buses, thank God. Um, so, yeah. That's about it, really. I'll see you maybe tomorrow or whenever I decide to do another one. Cheers. Okay, I've got problems. It's after 10. I'm waiting for the wash to finish. I've just spent the last half an hour watching. I literally went on YouTube and searched for food porn. Food porn. And I'm just lying here in bed watching videos of burgers, egg sandwiches, cake, um, just all sorts of filthy, beautiful, gooey, oozing food. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. <laughs> I think I'm going nuts. Um, but yeah, I just keep thinking, how am I going to not eat crap food? Because I love it so much. I love junk food. I love, not junk food, but just, just, um, just food that's just tasty and naughty. Naughty food, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm tired. Um, yeah, how am I going to turn that down? How am I going to stop myself from just going back to that? Because it's just so tempting. Um, particularly if my taste buds are uh, as expected. Um, working on overdrive. We shall see. Um, it's day 16? Yeah, day 16. Uh, still going well. Um one side effect, I think I mentioned this about my sense of smell, I'm smelling things, I'm really like hypersensitive to smell at the moment, which is, in some ways is nice, like if you're walking past a really nice restaurant or something like that and you smell it and it's really, really nice, you're just smelling food, just like I've not smelled for a, as long as I can remember. Um, but on the downside is when there's not so nice smells, so this morning... I was on the replacement bus to work and there was a guy sat next to me and bear in mind this is like an hour and a half journey uh, and I was tired anyway um, oh my god his breath was rancid it probably wasn't that bad but to me it was just like death oh my god and I was on the window seat and he had the aisle seat obviously and uh he was looking, he just kept looking past me out of the window, so his breath was just breezing past my nose the whole way. Oh, and I was trying to read my book, trying to ignore him. Oh, I just, I, it was horrible, it was torture. I was so, I, he got off like the stop before mine, so I had like 10 minutes of relief. But God, it was horrible, I felt nauseous. And normally I think I'd just, I'd have just been like, ooh and just sort of pull the face a bit but it was really overpowering <laughs> so yeah that was interesting um anything else uh getting a few comments at work about how much weight i've lost um a few people looking a bit puzzled uh, one guy was like you look a lot thinner than you did last week <laughs> which obviously is quite unusual to see someone lose weight week to week, like noticeably, it's normally over a longer period. But hey, it's going alright. And I went to um, 
treat myself after work. I went and bought some new shirts because all my shirts are drowning me. But one or two that I've had for ages that I've not worn for ages. But got a bit over ambitious, uh, and I've got some that are just ridiculous. I, I look like an idiot. Uh, I, I could probably just about wear them if I was a complete douche. Um, but they're just so tight. <laughs> <laughs> just like I'm trying so hard um, so I'm going to take them back um, and get a bigger size because uh, yeah even if I do get the body I want I'm not going to be that dickhead who goes to work <laughs> just wearing skin tight shirts That's, I'm not going to be that guy no no I must resist Right, so I think I can. Oh, the washer might be nearly finished. I'm so tired, I want to go to sleep. Um, but I might watch a little bit more food porn. What shall I watch? Don't know. I watched this egg butty one that was like two eggs in bread with like lattice bacon and cheese and butter. Oh, it was just majestic. Majestic, and then the guy ate it, and it was oh, there was some spring onions on it, so it's you know like a salad really, um, and it was just gooey and oh, it's just perfect, yeah. Hey ho, more water. Keep the faith. Later's. Hello, it's day twenty. Almost there, eight days max to go. Yeah, I'm saying I'm going to do 28 max. Maybe, actually, no, it'll probably be 29 if I go and weigh myself on the Monday. But yeah, not far off now. Um, still feeling good. Um, I've got to change. Anything changed? I've been pretty busy at work still, still getting this horrible replacement bus, which kills me, so I'm doing like 13 hour days with the travelling. But hey ho, um, never mind. Um, I've been filling my journeys on the bus by watching YouTube videos of recipes um, from, I don't know, all sorts of people, Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, the usuals. Uh, but also, I'm getting a bit obsessed with this woman, Chetna. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember her second name. Uh, but yeah, she does all these amazing um, Indian recipes. So quite a lot of veggie ones and healthy ones. So I'm literally just building a massive file of recipes on, <laughs> um, on my computer just that I'm like oh yes when I'm cooking I'm going to make that I'm going to make that I'm going to make big batches of that so I'm just going to so I'll, it's stuff that is good food like some of it's a bit naughty but most of it's really healthy so I think that would be a, a good thing I'm really looking forward to that I really miss cooking um, so that's going to be great um, I started a few days ago, um, I started feeling a little bit dizzy um, and it was weird because like, nothing really had changed, like I still, um, you know, still drinking plenty of water, getting the same amount of rest but just, just getting a bit more dizzy and then uh, I thought about it and I thought it's probably, because um, I've read about this, that it's probably potassium, probably low in potassium so uh, I went to Holland and Barrett and got some potassium and some magnesium. So I started taking that since then, felt absolutely brilliant, really alert and chilled, relaxed, not hungry still. I'm getting rumbling stomach, but like that's it really. Um, so yeah, all good. Feel like I'm well set for the last week or so. I don't know when I'll do another one. Maybe Monday or Tuesday, see how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, see you later. Okay, it's day 21. And I've decided that's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I know I was going to go for like possibly tomorrow's 28 for the full month. But um, I woke up in the middle of the night feeling really hungry. And that's apparently the biggest sign that your body's ready to stop. So, and my tongue. Uh, I started going pink again, which means I'm not in ketosis. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good, really happy with how it's gone, um, I've just been to the shop to buy a watermelon, 
And then I was frustrated because I had to wait another 20 minutes before the tills opened because it's Sunday trading. Ah! I was just so excited. I just wanted to get home. So yeah, I've just put some lunch in for the kids. And now I'm going to go and eat some lovely, juicy watermelon. Uh, I don't know why I like some. about. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to get Anna to film me as I eat it. Um, I hope it's as, it, as like amazing as people have made out online about how tasty it is. We shall see. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we go, Hannah. Let's take control again. Have I got blue on my hand? I don't know. It's not important right now. It's blue. Look blue. at that, guys. Right, okay, here we go. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> this needs to be usable. <laughs> right, okay, how do I? I don't even know the last time I actually bought a watermelon. Oh, yes. This is so exciting. 21 days of just water. Coffee. And coffee, the odd coffee, and vitamins. Right, uh, hang on. I'm, I'm going to do a wedge, I think. I think that's probably the best bit. Wedges are really messy, though. What? I know, but then I'm going to cut a bit out of it. So, like, is this frustrating you? And then I'm just going to... Like this. You're wasting so much watermelon. It's got seeds. I'll get that later. I want to eat it. There's loads of seeds. I didn't want the seeds. Let me, let me, eat. I want it. Eat. Right, eat okay. It well, every, Come on, every you ready? Fruit, every fruit besides a banana has seeds. Is that true? I could be wrong on that. Wait, hold anybody, on. Anybody listening, c correct me on that. <laughs> right. Hold on, I'm gonna... trying to think of a fruit that hasn't got... Can we talk about this later, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god, it's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Wow. Let's zoom in. How excited do I look? <laughs> Your like, eyes are glistening. <laughs> oh. Get ready for him to cry, guys. It's really nice. It's really nice. I do wish I could have had the toast and marmalade, like I said I would, but I'm being sensible. Yeah, you don't want to throw up. My voice is going, I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to it. Right, okay, this is what I'm going to eat for a day or two. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to start doing some, like, yogurts and stuff. Oh, I can't wait till I can eat some chicken. Anna hates me now because she's veggie. I don't. You used, to, you used to be vegan, what happened? I fell off the wagon badly. Um, yeah, I was quite excited about having some chicken and some pasta. And I and just never got on. Rice, and naan bread. Oh. Yeah, but I'm going to be good. It's going to be healthy and controlled. And lots of exercise. I'm going to keep the health up. So. Because he's like well skinny now. Woo! I just bought skinny jeans. Go over there. Wow. Amazing. So cool. Right, I think that's it. And yeah. I'm going to do another bit later. Oh, when... that watermelon. I'm going to do another bit later when I've um, been to the gym and been on the machine to test all my weight and body fat and all that sort of stuff. Okay, final one on day 21. So I've been to the gym, uh, weighed myself, been on the little measuring machine. Um, it didn't really make any sense. <laughs> I've lost 12 kilograms. Um, but it weirdly, I don't know, it's it's just, I spoke to the person there, they said it might be because your body's not quite back into balance yet after the fasting, that the readings aren't really making much sense, but I'll probably go again in a week or two. Um, I, need, I want to keep track, see if I put the weight back on anyway. Um, but yeah, I've had loads of energy at the gym. Um, strength is pretty much there, a little bit less strength than I had before, I would say. Um... But yeah, now it's about getting um, getting the muscle back up, getting the fitness back up, keeping the weight off, eating healthy. Um, yeah, I'm happy. It's been good. Um, so let's do that final, oh, the final body shot. Let's see if we can get the difference. Um, we do it this way. Na, na, na. Da, 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 da. Oh look, see how we're looking. 
So it is quite a big change, I think. Um, lost a hell of a lot from here. Lost loads of my face. Uh, my legs are definitely slimmer. There's almost, woo, almost some abs coming. Not quite. I did want to lose a bit, lose this a bit, but hey ho. Um, it was time to stop, definitely. Um, but yeah, fairly happy. Um, let's see how we get on for the next few weeks. Um, looking forward to doing lots of cooking, lots of healthy eating. I've been eating lots of fruit today. Um, I got sick of the watermelon pretty quickly, I'll be honest. I've started eating like grapes and tangerines. Um, what else? A bit of mango. Lots of yummy, yummy fruits. Um, and it is really, really tasty. Oh my God. I had a couple of grapes at my mum's house. And it was the sweetest, most delicious grape I've ever eaten in my life. It was just so good. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what other things taste like over the coming days and weeks. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do a little update, but uh, I think that's pretty much the journey done. Um, I don't know why I'm talking to the back of the thing. Um, that'll do, I think. Got any questions? Give us a shout. Uh, it's not been fun as such, it's been a challenge, but yeah, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. Let's see, see how it goes, mate.